Hi everyone, I thought I would have a go at colouring one of the simpler pictures in this cute little book. Um, I have done a flip through of it, I'm just going to come out a tad, there we go, and uh, I thought that it would be fun to do one of the sort of wintry pictures in here, but quite a few of the wintry pictures are quite Christmassy, but this one I didn't feel was quite so Christmassy, I thought it was rather cute, so I thought we'd have a go. and. It's quite a new book, so I might have to oh, push down the spine a little bit. I don't like doing this, but I'm going to make it open. Um, I'm going to use my Artex, <laughs> my Artex pencils on the page. <laughs> Let's retry that again. Um, and some pastels in the background I thought would be fun. And I thought I would just... It's sort of going to be just an experiment, see what this paper's like. Because remember I was saying when I did my flip through, if you've seen it, I was saying how really lovely and smooth the paper is. Um, I'm going to do the bird. I'm just going to start with the true blue. I'm going to go all over the bird and then use the darker blue to define some of these um, shapes and areas that are drawn on. So I had said how nice the paper was and uh, I used my castles and it's really smooth and I liked it and I used um, other pencils when I did the other page it might have been Artex actually now I'm using them again never mind I wanted to sort of try out and see if it worked with different brands really and it seems to because I find that Millie Marotta's paper it seems really smooth as well but when I try colouring on it it's a little bit too smooth and slick and it's almost it shows up all the texture of the colouring and things like that and I have yet to find a pencil that I really feel really happy with using on her books. Um, I'm just sort of, you know, I'm slowly experimenting, trying different pencils and things like that. I'm just trying to work out where that bird is, it's there. But this one I don't seem to be finding that I'm finding that you can see there's some tooth we've still got some white paper showing through so uh, that's uh, that's probably one of the reasons I know birds aren't blue um, just in case you're wondering actually some birds are blue um, there is such thing as a blue bird but I don't think they're blue to be honest I'm really blue magpies have blue in them blue tits have some blue in them but yes, there are um, birds that are much blue, are, are not completely blue, but um, I'm just having some fun um, with with colour because uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in the sky either. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a bit of a mad experiment, really. And the Artex, look how lovely and easy it is to get a nice even... You could even do a background with that and it would just go down quite well. I'm not going to. <laughs> She adds quickly, I'm going to use pastels because, um, because I want to, no, <laughs> I want to try them out. This is called Ocean Blue, okay, and I'm going to, whoops, make his belly a little bit blue. In fact, I'm just going to go over the top of what's there already and just darken the whole of it. Just heard a sound, can't work out what it was. Never mind, it's probably just something. I put some things down next door. Probably moving. I made myself a coffee too, which I shall go and have in a bit. But uh, we'll have some fun with this page first. If I get too thirsty, I'll stop and go and grab it and come back. There. Let's just do that edge a bit neater. There we go. And I'm thinking I'm also going to use this to put in a little bit of shadow in some places. Um, so the wing here, I think there'd be a little bit under Mr. Mouse. And just here where it overlaps. It just helps us to see that there's a gap in between those two wings. Just a little bit. we go and then I'm thinking a little bit under here nothing too complicated I want to keep it fun and simple and then we've got these marks now I'm tempted which I'm gonna do is just to make them a darker version of this 
then I know it matches because if I keep adding in lots of different blues I might end up with a bit of a mess. And the reason I'm listening is because I'm expecting an Amazon delivery. Now quite often Amazon deliveries don't come with the postman. Um, this I've had a post already today and my Amazon delivery is due to arrive. It says it's coming via my Amazon delivery driver. So uh, he's usually around about six o'clock. That'll be a bit later. But uh, it's uh, sometimes he surprises me and he's early. Um, I think I can do a little bit here. But um, yeah, um, what that is quite exciting. A publisher is sending me a book to review, which is rather kind of them. So that's fun. Mouse, I feel like doing grey. Which is a bit boring considering birds blue. Wish we could, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know. Let's be let's be silly. Let's go violet blue. Just do something a bit more daring. This is a nice colour. Needs a sharpen though. But we might get away with it because um, if I let go of this page, <laughs> I'm thinking sort of night colours. Do you know what I mean? It's it's dark. I want to do a little bit of shadow under there. It's very difficult with an extremely blunt pencil. And a bit there. I might just about manage it. I now haven't done the inside of the ear. I think at that and the tail can do a little bit darker. Not that colour. Um, I'm thinking Palmer Violet. This Artex um, cardboard tub is annoying me. <laughs> I like the pencils, don't like the tub. I'm going to um, put them in a case, I think, it's very soon, <laughs> before it drives me wrong, because it's not really very different, is it? I'm gonna go, I d I'm gonna sharpen. It's not gonna stay open, is it? Oh, it might do. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Let's get there. I can put a bit of dark, that's better. I just want to make sure that you can see basically that the um bit of darker nose that the um tail and the ear are not the same colour. This will probably be a bit darker here too. Oh, excuse me sniffing. Suddenly got a sniffy nose, as I always do. Right, so there is our bird and hmm now moon I think I'm going to do next and I'm trying to think of what colour excuse me we could go very light blue I don't want to go white uh, we've got these clouds might do them white oh excuse me actually I'm going to try an experiment I'm going to do the moon blue that's not the experiment it's called cloud blue this one oh that's a nice sharp point isn't it little bit darker than I would normally think a moon should be seeing as the moon's white <laughs> but hey ho my son's held a bit of moon rock I think it was moon rock he's um he's doing geology and uh, they passed round a bit of rock it's actually come off a, it was a meteorite and it was sort of oh much 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 older than the earth and he was like absolutely fascinated and amazed is you can imagine if you're interested in that you can imagine <sighs> okay clouds i'm going to do white and this is my experiment i'm hoping oh there's my door one minute sorry i had to go and see what it was and it was my delivery mat driver with the book so what i'm going to do so these clouds i'm going to color them white now you can't see anything, I shouldn't imagine. I'm struggling. And uh, because I'm going to do my background in pastel, I, uh, I want to see whether this white pencil resists the, um, the pastel or not. Yeah, this book that's just come through, 
um, you would have already seen a flip through with it if you're a regular on my channel because I think I'm going to have to schedule it a bit earlier than this one. So I've got a, a stack of videos all planned and ready but um, the publishers like me to sort of get their flip throughs done quite quickly so uh, I shall probably put it up earlier. So my plan is to find out whether the pastel will resist the white or not. It's a bit of a risk because it might not and it might end up looking appalling. I need to put something down on that side of the book. Oh. Pencil case. There we go. That's my son's Oreo pencil case. He's um, got a few of those. Both of my boys actually. Anyway, I think I was telling you about the geology thing. Um, I'm going to use the Mungio pastels. I'm just making a noise now. Just getting a, um, a couple of cotton balls to wipe with. I um, I need to wash my other ones, the washable ones. Right, let's just put that aside. So I've got to choose a colour for the sky. If I had a dark purple I would use that but I don't. Um, I'm tempted to go with pink and purple and blue and sort of splodge and splodge it about a bit. What do you think? Do you like the idea of splodgy splodging it about a bit? I could probably put those on there. Put it across or in shot. Is that going to sit there? Just about. So what are we going to do? Hang on. This allow you to see. It's always good, isn't it? Now the stars, I'm going to use some stickles after. So we're not going to worry about those now. So we'll just colour over those. I think I'm going to make it start with a purple and then add some other colours in because I know this purple isn't as dark as it looks. Actually, it looks quite dark. No, it is quite dark. But that, that looks quite night sky-like. So I'm going to carry on. Now my worry with this is that our mouse and our bird are going to smear in so I'm going to be very careful around them. I've gone over that um, cloud I can see some resistance. Now it's always a good idea to put your hand down on a bit that you're not going to be putting your um, your pastel on because you get fingerprints otherwise which isn't nice. There is quite a bit of resistance from that cloud there, can you see? So that's good news. I think the harder you burnish your pencil in, the more it will do that, resist the pastel. And um, so if you're, if, you, if you're really precious about your page what you, that you've coloured, you might be wise to go all over with a burnisher before adding pastel just in case. Or um, if it's like this, I haven't worried about the bird because um, it's quite easy to go around it because there's not much else going on in the picture. But if you've got a, past if you've got a page with loads of little teeny details, then it's a bit more tricky. Right, there's my base of purple. It's a little bit messy, but I'm okay with that because I know what I'm doing. I'm going to just, um, I just rip that in half and put it like that so I can get a clean bit. And I'm going to get a bit of pink. I'm going to use, I think, this dirty pink. Sorry, dusky pink. <laughs> Grab a bit and just sort of put it in a few areas to lighten and brighten and pretty it. I think it looks quite pretty with pink in. Purple can sometimes look a bit dirty and um, almost um, muddy. A bit of pink could also put in a bit of blue if you wanted. I think I'm just going to keep going with my pink because I'm rather liking it. I was going to do some blue as well but I don't think I am now. The bird's blue anyway, although I realise mouse is purple but mouse stands out quite well. Sorry, it's moving all over the place. <laughs>
Whoop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm nearly done, I think. I don't think we need to be too much. That's gone really pretty. Look at that. Lovely. Now I'm just going to brush that off. Where's my brush? Here it is. To start with. Let's um, put the lid on the pastels before I put my arm in them and spill them all over the place. I have been known to do that. Right, that's that. Let's put the brush away. Now, I'm having a look at this cloud where it has taken on some of the colour. I'm just going to gently erase that off. Um, again, I can hold on here. I can just gently erase that off. You can, of course, use a white pen to uh, go over white bits if you want, but sometimes my past, some of my pastel colours um, aren't bleed proof, so it goes pink. Basically, the areas I've missed have gone purple, but I think it's fine. I'm happy. I, I think they stand out well enough. Now, I'm going to just get um, some silver. Mm. Actually, I think... Uh, what have I got? I've got some silver paint. I don't think I want that. See, my stickles are see-through. Um... I might be better with a silver glitter pen actually that, rather than a stick or so you're just going to have to bear with me while I go and grab one because I've left them next door. Right, I have got these. These are my Secura Stardust glitter pens. Any glitter pen will do. But I'm just looking and I don't think... I don't know if that's the silver. I'm going to test it. Hold on a minute. Because silver is what I want. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know why, it just didn't look silver. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do all the stars with this. Now it's always good to start at the bottom and work down or the left and work right, unless you're left-handed. I'm going to do these lines as well. And this is all going down really nicely on this paper, I have to say. I'm looking forward to doing more in this book, on this lovely paper. The only thing is at the minute, the book is Seasons. Um, it's a bit in Seasons, which is great. But we're sort of in between. We're sort of March. It's March the 3rd, I think. Um, yes. And um, we're full cross snow next week. You know, we're in that transition where we, we've got snowdrops... The bluebells are coming up in my garden. I've got crocuses. It, we're having sunny days. And yet we're getting frosty nights and snow forecasts. So we're in a sort of weird transition of seasons. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? Never mind. And um, so it doesn't feel like it's winter still, but it doesn't feel like it's spring. <laughs> but I am looking forward to doing some Easter pictures. I was thinking about that. But Easter isn't until April. So we shall hold off a little bit for those. I was having a look at Hannah. I'd probably be better off doing these with a ruler. <laughs> I was looking at Hannah Coulson's Seasons book and earlier. I did colouring a picture in there actually. And I was looking at the little spring page because, you know, I did the autumn page and I did the winter page of where you just get little, little items. And uh, there's an egg, like, you know, like an Easter egg. And I thought, oh, it's a bit too early. Is it though? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, I just realised something. I haven't done the mouse's eye. I think it should be black. Right, that's that. So I'm going to grab my black pencil and do mouse's eye. It's just called black. Uh, there you are, mouse. Um... And I feel like I want to put some stickles on the moon. Spar sparkle sparkles. These this is diamond stickles. I'm just gonna shake it a bit so it comes out a bit more easily. And um, I'm just in the mood for some glittery sparkles. Why not? I'm more in the mood for glittery sparkles when it's wintry though. Because I think it's like sort of ice or Christmas or things like that. 
Oh, it's a bit thick. <laughs> Just spread it a bit. I was looking for some glitter glue when I was out and about, but uh, the stuff I found in the shops that I looked in was pretty nasty compared to stickles. I think these are the best, though, aren't they? Right, there we go. Let's, let me just show you. Let's take away the paper. Look at what the um, pastel does. <laughs> and uh, tip it to the light so hopefully you can see the sparkles and the glitter. Let's move that out of the way. So there we go. It's really simple, but lots of fun, um, quick and, uh, and effective, I think. Um, obviously, it's for you to decide. But uh, just nice sort of cold wintry colours, because this is, we're in our winter section of the book, but not too Christmassy. That was my plan. So that's, that's what I've achieved, I think. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that was okay for you. Um, hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.